Our first guest is a very funny and talented actress who we always enjoy having on the show. Her new movie is called Violet. Oh, and she's also going to be a first time mom. Please welcome the wonderful Olivia Munn. What's up, Olivia? Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm so good. I, I, and it's, I'm so happy that, that you're here with us. Now, listen, I know that you are, uh, that you're best friends with Ellen. And, you know, obviously she's not here today. So hopefully I can just be like a good stand-in best friend for a little while. Are you kidding me? I, you know, your wife and I follow each other on Instagram and we mm -hmm. DM every now and then. And um, to be like best friend families with you guys would mm -hmm. be a dream come true. That, like that... you guys are just the coolest, cutest thing we've ever seen. You, <laughs> I mean, if you could teach my little family how to dance like you guys, that would be like the best scenario ever. Thank you. That is amazing to say because before I left the house this morning, Allison was like, please tell Olivia I said hello. And I'm like, y'all y'all are not on first name basis like that. Uh, but, <laughs> but I feel like we are, so that's good for me. That's awesome. And see, the thing is, we, we so we, I think our first impression of you was on the, the newsroom um, because we loved that show, loved your character in the show. What do you remember when you look back on that show? Oh, gosh, that show was... Um, there, there hasn't been anything that compares to being mm. able to do that, that show. Mm -hmm. um, I loved every single second of it. I, I knew it was a special show, but mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't realize... Um, how special it would be in the totality of my career. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And then I also had to say, I mean, you're doing a lot of epic things. I got to say, congratulations. You are expecting your first child. How, how are you feeling? <laughs> thanks, thanks. Um, I am, um, I'm hot all the time. I'm so hot right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I try to do, I, I turn my own hair and makeup today and it's all coming down. Um, it just, everything just is so hot all the time. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's such a new experience and things are changing with your body all the time. I mean, you know, with Alice and you guys have gone through it, you Absolutely. know, so many different times. Um, it's just a lot, like every day there's something new that's happening Absolutely. that I'm trying to, to figure out. Do you have any great advice? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to take any and all advice from anyone because I, I, this is all so new. Yeah, absolutely. So here's here's my thing. My my advice is probably going to be more for John. I could you you should refer to Allison because me up here trying to give you advice on how to handle a pregnancy that ain't going to bode well. <laughs> other than other than just, just know that John need to be your soldier, hand and foot. Like he he need to be there for you. Period. Point blank to make sure that everything is go is going great. Um, and then, uh, and then, you know what I'll do? I'll set up a little phone date for you and Allison to wrap. That she would love that. Oh, that yeah. would be great. Absolutely, I would love that. Absolutely, I would love that. Thanks. Now, here's a question. Even, even speaking to that, right? Obviously, there's a lot of things to learn and stuff like that. Are you guys feeling prepared, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, that people ask me all the time. Ask me, ask me. We get ask that all the time it's um i'm uh, no i'm not prepared yeah. uh <laughs> I, I there's a lot a lot comes at me um and i don't really know what to take in um i want advice from people but there's a lot of questions about what's your birth plan what's your birth plan mm -hmm. um my birth plan um is to follow what the doctor thinks and then i have people telling me well you have to have a birth plan so that you don't just get pushed around by the doctor but mm -hmm. i'm like doctor's the one who knows how to d deliver a baby, so <laughs> I don't, I'd rather have their birth plan than my birth plan, um, but I also understand that it's important. I also don't understand, there's a few things that get thrown out to me. Um, a snoo, it's very important. I don't know what it is or why mm -hmm. it's so important. Mm -hmm. um, rocking chair, I've been told many times it's important to get the best rocking chair. Yep. I have been trying out different rocking chairs. I, <laughs> I found out that it is extremely different from rocking chair to rocking chair. I still don't know what the best rocking chair is. Um, I also know that onesies that zip up are much more important than onesies that button. In fact, don't even get yourself a onesie that buttons because you don't want to be buttoning up a onesie in the middle of the night. That's you need a, a, a zipper one. Is that, that's a fact, That's right? a fact. That is a, that's an absolute okay. fact. Get them little zip up joints. That's, that's the way right there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, and also sleep when the baby sleeps because your idea of naps right now, they are about to slowly disappear. So, like, yeah. when the baby is knocked out, knock out. What did you do during the night? 
What did I do during like, the night? Did you get up? Yeah, did you I get did. up during, during the night? Yeah. I did. For so, every kid? Uh, for every kid, yes, I did. And so here's, because for me, the nighttime was actually uh, my time to like, to connect because Allison got to carry, y'all Y'all cook them up. You get to carry them around there with y'all, right? So while you're sleeping, like, yeah, I'll get up and spend time. That was like my time to connect and, and kind of feed and sit and hold, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. So yes, I, I definitely got up. Nighttime was my time to connect, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a short break. More with Olivia after this. We're back with Olivia Mine. That was a clip from your new movie, Violet. Now, it's already getting Oscar buzz. Please tell everybody what it's about. This is a film about the negative thoughts that we all have that cause us to make fear-based decisions, mm -hmm. that insidious voice. And the film is a roadmap to um, becoming yourself and, and, and really silencing that voice in your head. Uh, Justin Thoreau voices your inner thoughts, and now you've known him for a long time, right? So, and he uh, gave, did yeah. he gave you uh, advice back in the day as you were coming up? Yeah, um, you know, Justin and I used to see each other in New York, and we became friends there. Well, we actually were friends way before then, and then when I was in New York um, filming The Daily Show, um, he and I became better friends, and, and he, you know, in the movie, he plays the voice in my head that mm -hmm. is constantly telling me that, I'm a freak, that I'm crazy, that I'm doing everything wrong, that voice that we that we all mm -hmm. have or a lot of us have. But in real life, Justin was um, the exact opposite of that for me. He was a friend who um, I would tell him about some guy I was dating and he was like, why are you dating that guy? Get rid of that guy. Mm -hmm. I Like, there's nothing good about that guy. And I'm like, really? He's like, I know that guy, get away. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. And I would, you know, exit stage left. And then I remember when I was uh, going out for the newsroom and I wasn't sure, um, I had some other offers for other shows and I wanted to wait for the newsroom because it was such a special mm -hmm. script. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should uh, take one of the, the concrete offers or try my hand and mm -hmm. try to get the newsroom. And um, I remember sitting with him in the lobby of a hotel and, and he, he was just like, do you think it's special? And I said, yes. And he said, well then the money will come. Don't worry about the money. Mm -hmm. Like, don't take the other ones, you know, wait for the newsroom. And, so he was, he's been instrumental in my life and in, 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 in during that time, especially. Mm -hmm. And then for him to come back as this other voice has been really interesting. Absolutely, like a really full circle moment too. And I, and I gotta ask too, because I, I love the movie and I love the way that, uh, that, that, that that inner voice was really given like um, not only a character, but a main character in, in a lot of the things that, that you would do and the actions you would take. So I have to ask like, what did, did you, Olivia, take away from Violet, right? Especially like being a, pu being a public figure, be, you know, like, the, I, and I know that, that there's inner dialogue going on there. So what did you take away from this movie? Yeah, there, uh, I'm, I'm, I definitely have wrestled with the, the inner voice and I still do. Mm -hmm. And, and especially, um, you know, in our business, you know, there's, there's always mm -hmm. so much self doubt mm -hmm. that comes in. We put ourselves out there and then there's so much, um, insecurity and there's other narratives that, that come into play that don't feel true to you. And, uh, it's all, it's just, it's really difficult. But what I found actually was um, actually doing this film and having some of my friends come visit on set and reading a couple of the pages that I'm um, doing that day, uh, tell me how much it resonated with them. Mm -hmm. And it was, an, it was, it's something that I never really expressed to my friends. I never talked about that inner voice with my friends mm -hmm. and um, after talking with Justine about it and then other crew members about it. And some of my friends that came to visit, I realized how, um, how many people actually, Actually struggle with it as well, mm -hmm. and um, and it, it did give me a little bit of peace knowing that I'm not the only one just beating myself up all the time. Absolutely, because we can use that support in that community. It's a super important film, y'all. Seriously. All right, we're gonna take one more break, and when we come back, we're gonna play a game with Olivia right after this.